This is question two. Here we're told that on July the 1st, 2004, Jack invested £2,000 of 5% per annum compound interest. Then we're asked to work out the value of Jack's investment on July the 1st, 2006. So when we're asked to work out compound interest, the first thing to do is to take the amount. So the amount that we've got is £2,000. Then we're going to multiply that amount, £2,000, by a percentage multiplier. So our percentage multiplier is going to be taken from this idea that we're earning 5% per annum compound interest. So that means that we are going to be increasing the amount. And so that means that we are going to be increasing by 5%. And so our percentage multiplier for a 5% increase is going to be 1. 0.05. So just taking the 5% as a decimal, 0.05, and adding that on to 1. If it was a 5% reduction, we would take that 0.05 and take it away from 1. So now we've got our amount multiplied by our percentage multiplier, and now we just have to raise the percentage multiplier to the power uh, of the number of years or months or whatever the term is. So what we can see is that the compound interest is being paid per annum. So that means per year. And Jack has invested it for between 2004 and 2006. So he has invested it for two years. So two years is being paid per annum. So we're gonna raise our percentage multiplier 1.05 and we're going to just square that. So working this out, what we're going to do is we're going to take 2000, multiply that by 1.05, and then square 1.05. That gives me an answer of 2205. So the value of Jack's investment is going to be 2205 pounds. So final answer, 2,205.